Hey guys, welcome to vtshakademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about functions. So in our previous videos we have discussed about relations. So here in this presentation let us learn about functions. So here a function a to b can be defined as a relation from a into b which satisfies the condition for every a belongs to a. There is a unique b belongs to b such that a comma b belongs to the function f. And here a is called as the domain and b is called as codomain of the function f. So first let us consider the order pairs of the set a as 1 comma 5, 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 9. So here all the x coordinates of the order pairs are called as the domain and here the x coordinates 1, 2 and 3 are the elements of the set domain. And similarly, all the y coordinates of the order pairs are called as codomain or the range. So here, the y coordinates 5, 4 and 9 would be the elements of the set range. And here, if f a to b is a mapping and a comma b belongs to f, then f of a is equal to b. And here, f of a is called as the image of a under the function f. So here we have two diagrams A and B and F is a mapping from A to B. So let us map A with B and here A comma B belongs to F. So A is the element of A and B is the element of B. So here F of A is equal to B and, and here F of A is called as the images of the A under the function F. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. We have the elements of the set R as A comma B comma C and the elements of the set S are X comma Y comma Z. Now let us represent both the sets in the form of a Venn diagram and let us try the elements of R and the elements of S in their respective Venn diagrams. Now let us map the elements of R with the elements of S. So here A is mapped with X and similarly we can map B with Y and C with Z. So we get here the order pairs as a comma x, b comma y and c comma z. Now let us consider another example here. If f of x is equal to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 then we have to find f of 2, f of 1 by 2, f of pi, f of 3, f of 1 by 3. Now let us find here f of 2. So we get here the function f of 2 just by replacing x with 2. So by replacing here we get 2 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. So here 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. And we get here f of 2 as 3. Now let us find here the function f of 1 by 2. And by replacing x with 1 by 2 we get 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 minus 1. By taking here LCM in both the numerator and denominator we get 1 plus 2 divided by 2 whole divided by 1 minus 2 divided by 2. Here 2 and 2 get cancelled and we get here 1 plus 2 is 3 divided by 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So we get here function f of 1 by 2 as minus 3. Now let us find the value of f of pi. By replacing x with pi we get pi plus 1 divided by pi minus 1. So here we have the next function as f of 3. Now let us replace x with 3. We get 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1. Here 3 plus 1 would be 4 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2. And by simplifying over here we get 2 1 time is 2 and 2 2 times is 4. So we get here the function f of 3 as 2. Now let us find the value of f of 1 by 3. And here by replacing we get 1 by 3 plus 1 divided by 1 by 3 minus 1. So by taking LCM in the numerator and denominator we get 1 plus 3 divided by 3 whole divided by 1 minus 3 divided by 3. Here 3 and 3 get cancelled in the numerator and denominator and we get here 1 plus 3 as 4 divided by 1 minus 3 is minus 2 here. And by simplifying here we get minus 2 1 time is minus 2 and 2 2 times is 4 and we get the value of f of 1 by 3 as minus 2. So this was a basic introduction on functions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshakademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.